Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are not tired of me saying or looking the same. I've actually made two previous videos. If you haven't checked those out, you really should. There are three other DIYs of the same subject, which is how to store your double-ended brushes. So I will leave the links down below if you haven't checked those out. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the final one, the fourth one. I actually have a named is actually to me is called the classic chic because it's white and gold and it looks so so pretty in person because of the white and the gold it's pretty cool <laughs> so I really love this one as well it's really simple but it's so pretty I'm serious it's so pretty in person so um yeah this is the next one and as you can see it has a little oh where's my finger right there right there <laughs> there's the little B for my name so yeah hope you like it so the DIY in this video was actually the reason why I went to the store. I went to shop for everything that I needed for this DIY, but I ended up buying so many other things because I got inspired and I decided to let that inspiration just come out. I so hope you like them, and if not, why? Why don't you like them? <laughs> it's really simple, but it's so pretty. It seriously is so pretty in person so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the tutorial because there's nothing much I want to say about that except that I didn't have anything to like hold it because this one is just to like be there in a really nice pretty area just to make it look pretty with my brushes so I don't have like a stand or anything like that other than that let's just get started with the tutorial so you can possibly get inspired to do your own and um, yeah let's continue on For this DIY, you're going to need a plain frame. You can use any that you have already. I personally like this white one. I didn't have any, so I had to buy a new one. And you're also going to need some cork tile and some cup hooks. The cork tile would depend on how deep the cup hooks are and also how big the picture frame is. In this DIY, I'm not going to use any paint, but of course, you can go ahead and paint yours, put stickers, flowers, anything that just represents you. I'm personally going to stick with the white and gold because it looks very classy and beautiful, and I absolutely love it. As you can see, the hooks are not super big, and I love that they are cupped. That way, it will hold my brushes, and they're not going to be falling off. So, I really love this combination of gold and white. The cork tile that I bought comes with four and they are thinner than the hooks so I'm going to take just one of the cork tiles and I'm going to make it the size of the frame. I'm going to use a piece of paper just to try to get as best of a match to the frame so I can cut it into the cork tile. And now I'm just going to follow the traces that I made as best as possible. As you can see, I'm not the best at following lines, but I guess you will have to do. As long as it fits and it looks nice, it's perfect. So let's just test this out and see if it fits nicely into it. And there, see? It wasn't super straight, but it works great. Yeah, I'm going to need two tiles in order for the hook to be able to go all the way through and not stick out and possibly hurt me because I'm really clumsy so that's very uh, possible. <laughs> so I'm going to trace another tile and I'm just going to cut that out and I'll be right back. Now that I have both of the tiles cut to the size of the frame, I'm going to insert one of them and secure it. the very first tile is completely secured and since I do need to since I didn't have uh, another one that was thicker I'm going to have to use uh, two of them so now I'm going to use the little double-sided tape that came with them and I'm going to tape this one to the other one so I can get that thickness that I need but not have it um, you know or just taped or anything like that I have already arranged my brushes to how I want them to be. If you have more brushes than this, then you can obviously just space them less or use a longer frame. That way you can fit a lot more brushes. 
So this is how I want them to be and now I'm going to start placing the cup hooks. seriously almost running out of breath because I have been recording these three videos but you only watch them at a time so it's not that bad for you but for me it is because I'm talking a lot <laughs> but um yeah I hope you like that tutorial it was simple right it was simple and very beautiful I really love it but if you haven't checked out the first second and third DIYs then I will leave those linked down below so you can check those out and I hope you like them it's, it's always awesome to have options so I'll leave those down below and thank you so much for watching I hope you share this video if you like it and also subscribe and I will see you in my next video thank you thank you so much for watching and staying with me <laughs> so um yeah have a wonderful day